Bob Litchfield, and I want to talk to you for a few minutes about that lonely, aching, empty hole in your heart. You know the hole that I'm talking about. Everybody has it to some extent or another. It's that one aching, empty, occasionally lonely spot in your heart that uh, never can quite seem to get completely filled. Now, the more people that you have in your life that, you're lo that you love and when you're ha going through happy times, sometimes it seems like that hole in your heart gets so small that it almost completely goes away. But other times, you know, the hole gets pretty big. It's that place in your heart that makes it so that you can be standing in a room full of people, maybe even surrounded by your friends, and yet still have a moment of feeling lonely. It's the same hole in your heart that makes it so that uh, even if you have a long-term love relationship, maybe you've been married to someone that you really love for many years, 20, 30, 40 years, and you're sitting in the living room right across from them one night watching TV, and even though you're with the person that you love, you can still have a moment of feeling lonely, an ache in your heart, like there's a big hole there that can't quite get filled. Maybe uh, uh, even in your service club or in your church, when you're surrounded by people that you love, you may be standing there in the uh, foyer of your church one day, wonder why you still feel lonely. Well, there's nothing wrong with you because you feel that loneliness, because you have that hole in your heart. In fact, uh, it's a part of the common human experience. Thomas Wolfe said, Loneliness is and always has been the central and inevitable experience of man. The great writer Thomas Wolfe, I think he hit it right on the head. The fact of the matter is that there is a place in the human heart where there's a hope. And there is no person on this planet, there is no love relationship, there is no service club, there is no church, there is no human institution on this planet that will completely fill that hole, that lonely, aching, empty spot in your heart. Why is that? And is th does that mean there's something wrong with you? No! There is absolutely nothing wrong with you because occasionally you get that lonely, aching feeling, that hole in your heart. There's nothing wrong with you. It's a part of the common human experience. In fact, uh, at least one great philosopher, uh, a Tibetan monk uh, in his, uh, by the name of Chagyang Trungpa, in his famous book Shambhala, the, the Sacred Path of the Warrior, says that to have a certain small amount of aching in the human heart is actually a good thing. Stop and think about that for a minute, because almost everything in our American culture is avoid having an aching heart at all costs. In fact, Millions and millions of dollars worth of advertising money is spent every year telling you that if your heart is aching, if you're lonely, if you're not completely fulfilled, that hole in your heart isn't completely filled, all you got to do is find the right product, the right deodorant, the right perfume, the right dress to buy. And if you buy that one thing, then the hole in your heart will be filled. Bull. You and I both know it's bull. There is no human uh, being, no human love relationship, no human institution that's ever going to completely fill that hole in your heart. Sorry, but you might as well get used to the idea and even get used to being comfortable with occasional bouts of loneliness because it is a part of the human condition. Now, Chagyong Trungpa, the Tibetan monk, says, hey, a little bit of aching could be a good thing. A little bit of aching in your heart, after all, that's probably the source of your compassion. If you didn't have your own bit of loneliness and aching heart once in a while, would you be nearly as empathetic to the heartaches of others? Perhaps not. Would you work nearly as hard to make others feel welcome into your heart? Perhaps not. So maybe a certain amount of loneliness, a certain amount of aching, a certain amount of the empty hole feeling in your heart is a good thing. Still, I know it's not comfortable, and so you do have to ask the question, if you choose to believe in a good and loving God, and you believe that everything that God designed is somehow good, 
what could possibly be good? What else could be good about having a, a lonely, aching, empty hole in your heart that doesn't seem that any human being, human relationship, or human institution can ever quite completely fill? Well, I don't know why God designed the human heart that way, but I have one theory. Perhaps when God designed our hearts so that they could never quite be completely filled by a human being or a human relationship or a human institution, it was God's insurance policy, God's little design into us to ensure that we would never be completely filled in our hearts without a good and loving relationship with God. Maybe it was God's insurance policy that in the end we would always come back to God. In fact, maybe that lonely, aching hole in your heart is one of the most beautiful and wonderful things that you have. Because maybe after all, what it is, is it is the homing beacon placed in your heart by God. It is that ache in your heart that thing that tells you that perhaps on this planet the hole in your heart will never be completely filled. Perhaps it is the homing beacon calling you home to the heart of God. Perhaps it's God calling you home. That's my prayer for you. Next time your heart is aching and you feel a bit of loneliness, seek a closer relationship with God. See if that doesn't fill a part of the hole in your heart. I love you. God bless you. Goodbye.